Gardens reflect a location's history and culture through their vast collection of local flora and commitment to a preservation of its breathtaking settings. Each institution serves as a significant community resource, educating residents and tourists alike about the pleasures of gardening and the significance of these magnificent examples in our environment. Walking through a lovely garden is an unforgettable experience. When you're surrounded by flowers, you lose yourself in the beauty of nature. It brings happiness and serenity into your life. We will be looking at the top 10 most beautiful gardens in the world in this fantastic video. Please do well to like and subscribe to this channel before we get into that. Number 10. Kuchenhof Lisse, Netherlands The Kuchenhof is the world's largest flower garden. It is 32 hectares of a garden which is home to over 7 million flowering plants. This garden is located in the western Dutch town of Lisse. Kuchenhof is also known as the Garden of Europe. The garden is open to visitors only in the spring, from late March to late May. The garden is usually in full bloom during this period, with millions of tulip flowers. Aside from the lovely tulip bulbs, there are bluebells, hyacinths, narcissi, and daffodils to be found. The world's largest lily show is also on display in this garden. Another fascinating aspect of this garden to be aware of is that each year the garden has a different theme. There is 15 kilometers of walking routes to enjoy the garden's magnificence. The 24-minute boat cruise also provides a magnificent view of the garden from a different angle. There are also various statues and fountains in the garden. Number 9. The Garden of Versailles, France This is one of the world's most magnificent and expansive gardens. This exquisite garden which spans 800 acres is a perfect example of classical French garden architecture. 300 hectares of forest, hundreds of acres of flower fields, 35 kilometers of canals, 600 fountains, 372 statues all make up the garden. There are additionally 200,000 trees and about 210,000 flowering plants on the property. Louis XIV commissioned the gardens in 1661 and they took 40 years to complete. Its significance is comparable to that of the palace. In 1979, UNESCO designated the grounds and palace of Versailles as a world historic site. On the lower level of the garden, there's 1.5 kilometer long Grand Canal. On the canal's bank, there are many oak trees, wild cherry trees, and ash trees. The Grand Canal Boat Ride provides a stunning perspective of Versailles' enormous gardens. The gardens of Versailles are also known for their fountains. The garden's principal fountains all have huge statues. Saturn, Cupid, Crease, Flora, and Neptune are among the mythological figures depicted in the statues. Number 8. The Gardens of Chateau de Villandry, Indre et Loire, France Six lovely gardens surround the popular Chateau de Villandry in Indre et Loire, France. Six terraces were created on the magnificent grounds. The Sun Garden is on the upper terrace followed by the Water Garden, Ornamental Garden, and Herb Garden on the lower terrace. Beautiful meadow flora can be seen in the Sun Garden on the upper terrace. Lime trees line the perimeter of this garden. The garden centerpiece is a sun-shaped decorative pond. The water in Villandry's garden is a wonderful spot to unwind. This garden contains a lot of lovely fountains and lawned areas. In the center of the garden, there is also an elegant pond. Different aromatic medicinal plants can be found in the herb garden on the lower terrace. This garden's plant structure is circular. It represents infinity. Number 7. Nong Nooch Tropical Botanical Garden, Pattaya City, Thailand In Thailand's Pattaya City, the Nong Nooch Botanical Garden is a renowned tourist destination. This 500-acre botanical garden houses the country's greatest collection of flowering plants. More than 670 native species are represented in the Noon Notch Garden. The garden is laid out in a symmetrical pattern. The splendor of this garden can be explored on the 1.1-kilometer promenade. The garden is divided into areas for bonsai, ferns, palms, cactuses, and orchids. While wandering through the garden, you can also see well-groomed shrubs, Visitors could enjoy a botanical garden as well as a Thai cultural display, a car museum, a fishing pond, and an elephant show. Cycling, elephant riding, and boat paddling are also available in the garden. Number 6. Puchat Gardens, British Columbia, Canada It is the world-famous garden and the Canadian National Historic Monument, located in British Columbia's Brentwood Bay. There are theme gardens, exotic floral plants, and ponds in this garden. Butchard Gardens is a 22-hectare botanical garden with 700 plant types. Robert Pym Butchard and his wife, Janine Butchard, developed this garden. Robert Pym Butchard used to possess a quarry on the site of this lovely garden. 
The couple chose to turn the area into a magnificent garden once the quarry closed in 1909. This garden took them 12 years to design. They've been welcoming tourists to their lovely gardens since 1921. Thousands of butterflies, parrots, peacocks, and other birds live in the butchered gardens. Several ducks are also protected by the garden's star pond. The butchered gardens frequently host musical nights, light shows, and fireworks displays. Number 5. Royal Botanical Gardens, Kew, London The 326-acre Royal Botanical Gardens in London's Kew District are a sight to behold. There are approximately 50,000 distinct plant species to uncover. This historic garden has been designated as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Aside from the lovely gardens, there are art galleries, greenhouses, distinctive edifices, and climate zones to visit. This garden was designed by Princess Augusta, the mother of King George III in 1759. Lord Boudet, a botanist, and William Eiton, a gardener, collaborated with the princess on the project. They created a 3.6-hectare garden at White Lodge in Richmond, London, that is both large and lovely. In the 1770s, King George III wishes to enlarge the garden that his mother built. Joseph Banks, a well-known botanist, was chosen by King George III for this position. He amassed a massive collection of plants from all over the world and created a new garden. Number 4. Giardini Botanici Villa Taranto, Piedmont, Italy The botanical garden at Villa Taranto is in the Piedmont region of northwest Italy. It covered an incredible 16 hectares of land. This botanical garden protects around 20,000 plant kinds from tens of thousands of species that are also Italian-style statues, terraces, waterfalls, fountains, and ponds throughout the garden. There are 4.3 miles of walkways in the garden to enjoy the beauty of the many flowers and other attractions. Many tropical plants, tulips, lotus, dahlias, camellias, magnolias, and heathers may be found in this garden and its extensive collection. The gardens of Villa Toronto are open to the public for free. From spring until October, you can experience the full splendor of flowers. Every year in April, the garden blooms with thousands of tulip flowers. In July, the dahlia seas begin and remain for three months. Number 3. Longwood Gardens, Pennsylvania, U.S. Longwood Gardens, which spans 1,077 acres in Pennsylvania, features 40 exquisite gardens and 4.5 acres of greenhouses. There are 11,000 different varieties of plants and trees in this massive garden. Longwood Gardens' 86-acre meadow garden is the most attractive attraction. The Longwood Garden's well-kept walking trails run for approximately 3 kilometers. There are several water sources throughout the garden as well. Many creatures including deer, beavers, butterflies, and birds are protected by this botanical garden. This botanical garden's massive conservatory houses 20 indoor gardens. This conservatory was built on a 4.5-acre plot of land. It safeguards 5,500 distinct plant species, summer roses, ferns, bonsai, cacti, bromeliads, and ferns are among the gorgeous flora seen inside the conservatory. During the summer, there are additional fountain shows, music concerts, and fireworks displays to enjoy. Number 2. Claude Monet's Garden, Giverny, Northern France The exquisite Claude Monet Garden may be found in the village of Giverny in northern France. There are two sections to this garden, a flower garden and a water garden. This breathtakingly beautiful, lovely garden was designed by Claude Monet, a famous French Impressionist painter. He adored living in such a serene and lovely environment. Monet decided to remodel his garden after being inspired by numerous Japanese artworks in his collection. In 1890, he started planning his new garden. He turned a river near his house into a lovely pond garden with a lot of hard effort. He also constructed a bridge across the river. There are also water lilies in the pond. On the pond's bank today, there are a lot of willows. The scene of the tiny bridge covered in magnificent wisterias is simply amazing. The pond's clean water reflects the flowers in the surrounding area. The flower garden in front of Monte's house is a mishmash of diverse varieties. Climbing roses are one of the garden's main attractions. A variety of fruit plants can also be seen in the garden. Number 1. The Desert Botanical Garden, Phoenix, Arizona, USA a significant collection of attractive arid land plants can be seen at the Desert Botanical Garden in Phoenix, Arizona. More than 21,000 desert plants from 139 distinct species can be found in the 140-acre garden. This garden is well known for its collection of 169 unusual desert plant species. 
There are approximately 1,350 distinct varieties of cactus plants there. The Desert Botanical Gardens collection is primarily from the deserts of southwestern North America. Walking through the garden is much easier because of the well-kept paved trails. Each spring, the Desert Garden attracts a large number of gorgeous butterflies. The volunteers at the garden will describe the various sorts of desert plants to you. In the garden, there are numerous fountains and beaches. Thank you for watching all the way until the end and if you enjoyed this video and want to see more as they are being uploaded, kindly like and subscribe to the channel and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.